Hey guys, welcome back. Out here at the range today because I'm going to test out the Gideon Omega. Now the Gideon Omega is coming to us from JSD Supply. I saw those guys at NRAM and they were kind enough to send one home with me to test. This isn't quite the released version of it. It's kind of a hard prototype, so it doesn't have all the features that I think they're planning on getting into the production mod models, but it's still a pretty decent little dot. We're gonna get it down here, get some rounds down range, make sure I've got it dialed in and we'll go over a little bit more with it. All right guys, so I honestly don't have this marked. I don't know if this is the crap LAX or not in here. So see how it runs in the can. See if we're dialed in first. See if we can rescue our hostage. Let's see if I can get the small ones. There we go. I'd say it's dialed in. Now this is the circle dot. I think when they get into full production, they're gonna give you the option to switch between just the circle, just the dot, or the circle dot. But this one does not switch, it is just the circle dot. So you've got like a two MOA dot on there, 65 MOA circle. Definitely a nice one for self-defense because that big circle on there just covers your whole target. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you don't like this video, why are you still here? If you think I've earned it, please hit that subscribe button. If you're going to subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you're notified whenever I put out a new video. New Steve says so. Let's get back to the Gideon Optics Omega. All right, guys, let's try and get over some of these specs on this thing before it really starts raining out here. Got new Steve back there. He's been a champ. Shooting Targets USA, go check those guys out. But we got the Gideon Omega here. This is the SRO style. They're probably gonna send me a strongly worded email about that. It's what it is. But we've got a 23 and a half millimeter tall window here, 27 wide, which is similar to some of the other big optics that I've done a lot of work with. And we're unloaded for my safety, not really yours. I can't shoot you through the internet. It's physically impossible. It's not how this works. So, but over here you have your manual adjustment for your brightness. Has 10 levels. The bottom two are night vision compatible. Got some relief cuts there. Molding cuts. I don't know which it is on this. Either way, you got some nice aesthetically pleasing relief cuts there on the top probably gives you a little bit more strength because you if it did fall directly onto this it's not going to fall on the recessed part there it's going to fall on there of course you've got your windage elevation they click they're one moa per click top load battery absolutely everything should be top load battery if you're not making top load battery or even a side load i'll give you a side load i'll give you the side load battery 
you're not doing a top load or side load battery, what's wrong with you? Seriously, top load, side load, I don't care. Just, I don't want to have to take it off and re-zero it. I want to nice and quick, change the battery, be done with it. They're claiming 20,000 hours if it was on all the time at level six brightness. It is shake awake. So if you set it down, 225 seconds, no movement, it will go to sleep. Pick it up, it's back on because of the shake awake. With that, you're extending out to about 50,000 hours of runtime on one battery. 70, 75 aluminum, I think that's the good stuff. I know it's 1,014 higher than the 6061, so it has to be better. Just don't start abusing your stuff. Treat it like the baby that it is. Be nice to it, okay? We're good. Three year warranty on them unless you decide that you do want to abuse the baby. Don't abuse the baby. Got you a nice recessed window on there. If you do decide to abuse it and bury a racket, you're at least recessed away from your glass when you do it. So do what you want with it, it's yours. I'm not going to abuse mine. So there is the Gideon Omega. Like I said, those guys are starting to get into the optics game. They also sent me home with the RMSC pattern one and a Glock 48 slide. So you'll see that coming out here on the channel. I like this a lot. Definitely a good defensive or carry optics red dot with that big 65 MOA circle. And I was wrong. It is a three MOA dot in the center, not two. Sue me. You're not going to get anything, but sue me. Don't sue me. I was going off memory. It's not, you know, I checked the specs. So go over there to JSD Supply. Check those guys out. Done a few things with them. Going to be doing some more with them. I've got a good friend of the channel over there now running their optics division. So I'm really excited about what's going to be coming down. Catch you guys on the next one.